Yasa Ziggy here and welcome to this week's episode of GRTV Australia. Coming to you from Sir Kilda Road in Melbourne. We love Melbourne. I don't know that we love winter, but it's still cold. It's been cold for a month. And in the middle of winter, we need to have lots of coffees, lots of hugs. And for our Queensland brothers and sisters up there, we know you're enjoying some warmer weather, but we love our Melbourne. So on this week's episode, we have, we go to Save Our Sons, which is a lovely charity helping kids particularly it, with a particular type of muscular dystrophy. And they have raised lots of money for these wonderful kids. They've got some great ambassadors and they're doing a great job. We go to the usual USA and then we finish off the lovely Tina Sophos, heads down to Four Doors and we'll find out what's cooking there. I'm Kat from Save Our Sons and we're here with GRTV at Chemist Warehouse Polaris. The 2016 Walk to Save Our Sons team has just arrived on our way into Fed Square after 13 days of walking from Albury to Melbourne. So we're going to head out and have a chat to a few of the team members. So we're here with Ellie Eid, who is the founder of Save Our Sons, as well as the father to Emilio. Ellie, what's it meant to you to walk the last 13 days with all of these guys from Albury to Melbourne? Uh, it's a unique experience. These guys are, are the real heroes behind all of this. I have to do this, this is my son, but they don't. So I think they represent what all Australians are all about. We've got big hearts and we never say die attitude. And you know what, together we're gonna make a difference. And you're hoping to raise close to a million dollars from the walk and the gala event supported by Chemist Warehouse here in Melbourne. Where are you going to direct those funds? Well, there are three places we want to put those funds. Um, first and foremost, we want to give um, put money towards equipment, life change equipment like coughing machines, breathing machines and stand-up wheelchairs where a child now can be at eye level with his or her peers. I'd also like to put funds towards nurses. We'd like to put a nurse along with our major sponsors, Chemist Warehouse, God bless them, in every single neurology ward around the country to help all the, the major hospitals for the level of care for our kids and, and for clinical research. And of course, we want to fund um, new exciting research which could potentially be in our country within the next two years. So we're going to have um, clinical trials happening here at home. So we're also here with Claire Bailey, who is the, f uh, the mother to Logan, who is also uh, a little boy suffering with DMD. Claire, how's it felt to join the team over the last couple of days and walk with them into Fed Square? Oh, it's just been incredible. Just to see the awareness and have all these people on board to support our boys, uh, it's just been incredible. I couldn't be more thankful for the team and the Chemist Warehouse team for support, supporting Ellie, Save Our Sons and all the boys and girls with Duchenne. It's amazing. It's super important to raise funds in order to obviously put it into research and equipment for kids with DMD, but awareness is a huge thing as well as Duchenne muscular dystrophy isn't something that many people know about. So what does everyone need to know and why is it so important that we get behind Save Our Sons and we get um, some really vital research underway? So Duchenne affects 1 in 3,500 boys, it's very rare in girls, 1 in 50 million, um, but while these boys um, do not live into their, um, are past their late 20s, they're living now and it's quality of life is really important. So by uh, putting money into research, Ellie and the guys at Save Our Sons are able to try and halt this disease, um, but with the equipment and um, standing wheelchairs, cough assist machines, we can actually improve their quality of life and that's for now and that's really important that these boys see everybody getting behind them to improve their quality of life. And Tanella, you've been supporting Save Our Sons now for quite a few years in various ways. Uh, why? Why choose Save Our Sons and why support Ellie and Emilio and their family? Uh, Ellie and Emilio came into my life about seven years ago um, and ever since my first meeting with Ellie, he's, uh, he's really touched something uh, quite close to me. He's, uh, he's a man, he's, Ellie and Amelia have been my heroes. Uh, they, they're inspirational, they've got courage, they really um, symbolise what, what life is all about and how important it is to um, never give up, always have hope and give it your best. Bass, you've been with Ellie from day one. Can I ask, how did that happen? Why did you make the decision to leave your normal life behind at that point and dedicate your future towards Ellie and Emilio and finding a cure for DMD? Let me take a deep breath first. Um, I grew up with Ellie. 
sorry, he knocked on my door about nine years ago and he said, Bass, I've got a sick boy and I need your help. And at the time I had two children of my own and, you know, I'll never forget thinking to myself, Bass, how do you want to be remembered? When your friend stuck out his hand for help, what did you do? And I think that's how we're all remembered. I think it's, it's what you turn up for your fellow man that, you know, sets you apart from everybody else. And, you know, when your friends are doing it tough and you've got healthy kids at home, you can't help but feel for them. And, you know, as a parent, I thought, you know, this is something I don't want to go through. So I'm going to make sure I do my darndest to make sure that we save our little boy Amelia together. And that was nine years ago. And here we are nine years later. We've got one of the biggest companies in Australia, Chemist Warehouse, behind us. And I couldn't be more proud. What is one thing that you would say to everyone? Um why should they back this cause so strongly as you have? You're right, we've said this before, Save Our Sons is a family and you know what, you know you, you, you don't choose family, your family is people that you want to be with for the rest of your life and I'll tell you, Save Our Sons, when you walk through our door, good luck trying to leave and you know what, there are charities around there that are dime a dozen and this, this term is used loosely, we are the people's charity and we're only as good as the people around us and we're blessed to have some of the most wonderful people around us. So I implore you, if you're a parent, if you're an uncle, if you're an auntie, if you're a grandparent, if you have a child, we are a family and we need other families to get behind us and support us. So please, even if you just look us up and see what we're about, it's not about just getting money, it's about people knowing what you're about first and foremost. So I implore everybody, just look us up, see what we're about. And I'm not after a big bit, I'm after lots of little bits. So the more lots of little bits that we can get, the better. Thank you so much. Uh, so we're here with Joni, who is one of the main contributors from Chemist Warehouse. We've had amazing support here at Save Our Sons from not only the owners, but every single staff member we've come across. It's really hard to find, and that's one thing I know the entire team wants to say thank you for. And we... We know why um, we're fighting for such a huge cause and when we'd love to know what it means to Chemist Warehouse. When Save Our Sons came to Chemist Warehouse and were looking for a sponsor um, and once we spoke to these beautiful people from Save Our Sons, we're a family now. Chemist Warehouse and Save Our Sons are a family and we're together are going to make a big difference um, to get to a cure for Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. This um, experience, my first experience has been something that I'll never forget, so rewarding and proud to be part of this association. I'm here with Joe, who's one of our Walk to Save Our Sons team members for 2016. Joe has supported Save Our Sons for quite a while and on this walk he has currently raised $50,000. He has canvassed pretty much his family, friends and colleagues colleagues and the importance of such an amount of money which we would like to share with you is one nurse funded in one children's hospital around Australia cost us a hundred thousand dollars. Joe on his own has raised half of that. Joe what does Save Our Sons mean to you? Why are you so behind this cause? Um, I met Ellie four years ago and he touched me from day one. Um, I've just got to know Emilio the last couple of days like the last week or so I've been here and honestly it's even made me closer to him. It's, it's a fantastic cause. Um, I love the foundation and I'm with them to the end. You have walked hard the last few days. You've got a busted knee. You have had so many issues but you have not once stopped. So what has that meant to you? Walking through that and next to Emilio, how has that affected you? Right, it's affected me in many ways. Um, like I said, I've got pretty close to Emilio in the last few days and it's, it's just, it's touching. It's beautiful. So we're going to leave you now here in um, Polaris. We're on our way to Fed Square. We're due to arrive at 4.30. Thank you to Chemist Warehouse and thank you to GRTV for covering our story. We look forward to seeing you back right here next year.